to take on Carlin Nordstrom. Anderson and Nordstrom going at it in the neutral zone. Anderson without his helmet. Nordstrom has his on. Nordstrom flailing away with punches. Now Anderson gives him a couple of chops to the face. Now they stop along the boards on the far side. Arms are tied up. I'd like to see Anderson just pummel him. Now he does as Nordstrom fell to the ice, but the linesman stepped in and broke him up. Dallas Anderson looks to be a little bloodied, but he got cheap shotted by Nordstrom at the start of this thing and was pulled down on the ice. I have to continue to battle here and put it together tonight. Got an icing on the play. We'll get a one of the Blazer players, Joe Burton, apparently got tripped up by Branch on the way into that icing. Burton gets back up off the ice. He wanted to go after Branch, but he's being held off by one of the linesmen. I think Burton feels that Branch stuck out his stick and tripped him up. And the fans are really letting Joe Burton here, and he won't get a whole lot of sympathy here in Tulsa. Not from the oil. And now we've got another fight. Dallas Anderson has been brought into a fight now with the River Kings' Tyler Lawson. Lawson, a new member of this River Kings team. Anderson gets behind. Now we've got a fight back in the Memphis end.
could have been put on that nice play there by Durko. Tim Schneider gets the draw for the River Kings, clears it out to center ice, and then Thompson onto the ice real quickly for the Eagles. Cornish tries to play it in. Thompson there as well. 14, 20, 6 to go, rolling along. Go. Right up the hop. Fred Thompson and Cornish going ahead. Thompson another right. Thompson three, four rights in a row. Another one by Thompson. He's only using his right hand, and he caught Cornish in the head. Cornish goes down. Thompson is being worked over by the official now as Thompson is going nuts out there, but he really started laying the lumber on Cornish's face. Oh, Brent Thompson looked possessed down there. He kept throwing shots after he put Cornish down to the ice. Point side. It is flattened on a blistering hit by Remy Roye. Parsons looks up and wants the number of the Big Mac truck that just leveled him on the freeway. Puck in deep in the left wing side of the River Kings and ice try in center. It's loose now and on the far side and the Kings come away with it now. Roye at center ice being challenged and it is Memphis's Jeremy Cornish taking exception to the hit and Cornish gets a couple of lefts from Roye. Roy I and Cornish, Remy coming with the left hands. Cornish trying to tie him up over near the Memphis bench area. Jeremy Cornish and Remy Roy A. Roy A's helmet is off. Both players with each other's arms tied up right now along the glass. Linesmen start to converge, but now they, after hesitating for a second, step in. Well, Jeremy Cornish certainly took exception to the hit on Parsons by Remy Roy A. And Parsons, I don't think, ever saw it coming. And he certainly did. Mark Richards, he took exception to it. He said Jeremy Cornish jumped right up. For the Kings, one of their all-star representatives, outlet feed to Janander at center. Now we've got gloves dropped at center. We've got Ken Boone on the ice, going to go at it with Jeremy Cornish. 
At center ice, right at center circle. They have one another's arms pretty well tied up right now. Boone trying to get a right free. He swings with a couple of rights. Hornish coming with a lunch right now on Boone. Boone ducking them now. His helmet is off. And Cornish tries to get Boone's jersey up over his head. Boone has Cornish's arms tied up. Boone getting the right elbow pad free, trying to get that right loose. Cornish, uh, southpaw, able to get a couple of lefts in. Still, they continue to battle at center. Now, Cornish continues with the lefts. Boone coming in here and away with the right, and he gets over the top of Cornish, and is able to wrestle him down to the ice. That one happens. And 33 seconds in the period number one. Ken Boone of the ice and Jeremy Cornish of the Memphis River Kings. Boone is in his 10th game back. The 32 minutes in penalty time for him. 6'2, 210 pounder Cornish, 6'3, 220. And 188 minutes in penalty time to lead the River Kings in that category. 33 in the period number one. Cornish and Boone fight, and we'll take a timeout. Indy nothing and Memphis nothing in from Conseco Fieldhouse. This is Indianapolis Ice Hockey. They skate all the way out to center ice. Nobody's throwing anything yet. The gloves are off. Zavarol waiting, and Oliver decides to grab. Now here's a quick shot, and now Zavarol goes after Oliver. It's a couple of shots in. Oliver quickly. Zavarol flings his helmet off, and now... What started off as a boxing match ended up into a little more of a wrestling match as Zavarol ends up going down to the ice. Almost on a three-point fall there. Eight, no, that, that was uh, as, uh, as the guys on Sports Center were off. Oh, and that should wrap it up. Alex Matthew uh -oh. getting into it a little afterwards. Now, here's Wild Fog throwing down with Parsons. Parsons takes a shot at Wild Fog. Oh, and now coming in, here's Sprott. Sprott takes a couple of free shots, and John Parsons here, gloves everywhere on the ice. I really hope the two of the guys from uh, Bossier get suspensions out of this. Sprott came in. This was bad. After Wild Fong, what happened initially, Matthew came around on the left side. Managed to be off the ice. Don't even go, don't even go to the box. That's bad. Matthew came in. He got it around the defender on the left side, skated it all the way in. And just put it in backhand. River for his King goal of the game. His third Afterwards, of the he was season checked into the board. The I believe by Buchanan. number 32, Buchanan, Alexander number 27. Matthew. And obviously, Don Parsons, the captain for the River Kings, took exception to that. He was over there. He threw his gloves down immediately. In retaliation, his third of the season. Second of the night, scored by number 32, Alexander went after Alexander Matthew. Matthew a bit more. Wild Thong comes in and drops the gloves on Parsons. Got a couple of shots in. Parsons returned fire, and then Sprott came in after the officials had jumped in and threw a couple of shots. They're about to go at it here. They just dropped the gloves immediately. Moore getting set, skating around, and Bunny takes a couple of shots and gets some hits into the right. Another right, another right, and now retaliation from Bassard. He is just peppering Moore's head. Moore down in a crouch and almost getting his jersey pulled off here. Now Moore trying to retaliate. Moore. Waiting. Now he gets a couple of shots in. Lines just jumped in to try and fix this up. That was a, I'm not sure if you call that a draw. Julio Moore got in the early shots. Broussard got in the late shots. And Moore was not happy they broke the tell you. Cornish takes the face off. And now he throws down over wow. here on the right side. This is him and Scott. And Cornish takes him Whoa. down and just rips him a couple of lefts. Whoa, my, baby. my goodness. Cornish went in, took the face off. Wow. Oh, and Cornish gives him a double deuce. Skates off the ice twice. Oh. And he gets a huge round of applause. He goes off the ice. I tell you what, folks, we've had pretty much everything you could possibly want in this contest today. We've had delays, we've had goals, we've had Closing changes three, of momentum. Four penalty to yes, number five, five, David Olivier. Two, we've had and two. And the River Kings number Fight 11, in the Jeremy last Cornish. Four both players, five minutes for fighting. Time of the penalties, 1937 of the period. Once again, the Mudbug penalties to number five, David Olivier. For the River Kings number 11, Jeremy Cornish. Both players, five minutes for fighting. Time of the penalties, 1937 of the third period. Guess who's taking his face off? Number 16, Brian Tucker. Let's right. guess what's going to happen here, kids. Tucker and Campbell, and now the Lions. Tucker and Campbell. Lions have been saying to Tucker, do not drop your gloves here, please. And indeed, Tucker will just kind of let it go off. They 
River Kings win the tie. 15.3 to go. Dixon takes a swing. Can't get one in. Looking, trying. Now here's a shot by Soki on Dixon, and now Dixon takes his man down. Gets back up again. Dixon still trying to get position. The line's been trying to jump in. They back off again. Dixon with a couple of roundhouses. Couldn't get it in. Hits him in the back of the head. And now Dixon on a swing ends up going to the ice. And with 15.3 seconds to go, we'll see Trent Dixon and...